Hello everyone. Right now I'm discussing a concept called as difference between path variables and query parameters. So in previous session, I discussed more details about the path variables as well as in another session I created or I discussed more about the query parameters, how you are implementing path variables concept and as well as query parameters concept. But we have to understand now the real difference between path variables and query parameters with respect to a real application implementation or a API services implementation or REST services implementation time. So at what scenarios we are going to choose either path variables or query parameters because the reason is when you are looking into path variables and query parameters, both will give you same kind of solutions, right? For example, in previous session, what we did when we are trying to load users, for example, based on the email ID. So if it is a path variable, yes, I define a path variable as part of my URI level. So the meaning of it is what? I'm trying to get a user information based on his email based on the person email id so that means in reality when i am sending a request i will send or i will replace value with the actual value here with the email id point of view so now i am trying to get user information belongs to the dilip at the rate gmail.com right so this is what we are done in the a path variable concept level now if you take in the query parameters or query string point of view also when we define a services users followed by email you define and you are sending a value from here as a query parameter point of view or query string point of view. So here you define query parameter email equal to dilip at the gmail.com and with respect to path variable you define users slash path variable called as email.com and you are replacing path variable as part of the URI level while you are sending the request and with respect to query parameter so now this is all about what query parameter representation but the concept here it is so the ultimate goal is what here so this is path variable so here the overall concept is what loading information based on the email id loading information based on the email id but here when both are giving same kind of solutions why we have two types of concepts called as path variables and as well as query parameters yes so in most of these scenarios we are trying to achieve or we are trying to fetch the data from the database by using our rest api implementation that means generally we know that as part of our rest api's guidelines or rest api architecture we will follow some uh, rules and regulations and we will try to fetch information whenever we are trying to fetch the information from the database point of view or loading application from the database point of view we will try to use a get http method as part of our rest services implementation now in this couple of okay when you are taking path variables and query parameter wise when you are implementing rest api by using get method to load information or fetching the information depends on the requirement point of view. So either we can use path variable as well as query parameter. But at what time you have to use path variable, at what time you are going to for the query parameter is. So with my experience, I'm trying to give a couple of examples here. At what time you have to choose what concept. And in general, whenever we are implementing the REST APIs, okay. So that's what I told you. So it's all about a guidelines guys. So that means it's not like mandatory you have to follow. It's all about a guidelines. Generally most of the people or most of the applications will follow these kind of guidelines when you are choosing a whether when you are choosing either path variable or query parameter. Generally path variables are used okay for putting required information putting required information in the path level so that means to fulfill the requirement whatever the required information you have to share to the server application that information you can define as part of the what path variables and when it comes to the query parameter level okay when it comes to the query parameters level we can keep the optional information as part of the query parameter level so that means what is the meaning of optional here it is to fulfill a requirement, to fulfill a request, 
so whatever the information sometimes we may have optional information right so we may send it we may not send it so that kind of information we can define as part of the query parameters level let's take a scenario here for example i am defining a rest api where i want to load all the users information so in previous examples if you observe here i created couple of examples related to path variables and as well as query parameters so if you see here this api service is loading data based on the email id with the concept called as path variable then even i define one more service with path request parameter is nothing but query parameter with same email id so here also i am getting data based on the email id here also i am getting data based on the email id so out of these two scenarios which is the best choice here or which is a best implementation here it is definitely the path variable is the best choice here it is the reason is let's take here so the requirement point of view so please take care always as part of the requirement of my requirement here it is load all users information all users information so that means and okay that means load all users information in the sense you you are defining slash users as a endpoint so what it will do it is all about fetch okay we are fetching all users information from the database all users information so this is one main point so here we are not used any path variable or query parameter in this scenario now for example some one more service i am implementing the user information i want to get but based on the single email id or a person generally it will be called as resource ids in rest services implementation the id what we are passing to the database or maybe our backend application okay while we are implementing the rest service implementation point of view we will call it as resource id so if i define path variable here something like email so the meaning of it is what guys we have to send always a email value here as part of the URI path level so that means now fetching information so here what is happening again fetching information fetching information based on email id so it's a mandatory here email id is a mandatory here and based on the email id i want to get all the information of that person so that is what the meaning of putting required information in the path variable level in the path variable level so that is what the point i would like to say here it is now for example i have a one more requirement the requirement is like this now if i take in a requirement okay fetch user information okay fetch users information based on their city or something like their state okay like this then it's all about a chop or choice you are having and that to optional information so that means with respect to query parameters i given you a statement like we can use optional information as part of the query parameters level so as well as even couple of applications will follow one more thing is the sorting type or for the filter operations okay and as well as pagination data also pagination data when you are loading or fetching information from the database point of view or rest services implementation point of view so you can define the variables or query parameters where you are sharing optional information as well as sorting information so sorting in the sense i will cover one example here and as well as some filter operations and pagination point of view now with respect to this requirement point of view maybe you can send either city or state information and based on that you have to load the user information so it's all an all an optional point of view so in this case what i am trying to see here i am forming a query string with the concept called as query parameter i take in city and respect to value here i will take and okay and one more okay query parameter called as state i take in and the respect to value i provided here so loading users based on the city or based on the state or else for example a person or when you are triggering one more time a request only with the city yes we can do that okay or else you can send a request only for the state point of view also 
yes we can send a request so users related to this city users related to the so and so state you are loading the data here it is when when it comes to this api point of view this service point of view we are loading users information they are belongs to the city and as well as state value so based on the city and state values so like this you can define the query parameters when you are having optional values while you are fetching the information and i told you one more point we may use as part of sorting so sorting in the sense generally you know that right uh, i want to load users information based on some alphabetical order or something like that so you may give the sorting information sorting equal to ascending order or something like descending order you can define a another parameter as part of the query parameter level sort equal to descending order so that the what is the meaning here it is guys now with respect to this rest api what we are trying to say with respect to the service point of view loading user information so that means fetching fetching user information okay fetching user information with by default in the descending order sorting descending order you are getting all the user information so that is what the meaning it is now i told you one more point it's all about filter operations yes anyway we are doing this operations i can call it as filter operations also that means you are filtering the user information if you take this rest service implementation with respect to here you are filtering user information based on the city because we assume in our database we are having users belongs to the different different cities now with respect to this city for example if i given hyderabad or hyderabad value here so the users information you are loading only belongs to the hyderabad city so fetch users so you are filtering fetch users by applying some filter okay by applying some filter called as a city value a city value so like this so these kind of parameters this kind of data when you want to exchange between client to server as part of api servers api services implementation as part of rest services implementation point of time we can choose query parameters especially when you are having optional information maybe you may send information to the server application or not those kind of information as well as sorting information filter operation as well as pagination information also if you observe couple of applications generally we will see a concept called as pagination concept so what is it is pagination concept so as part of the pagination concept generally what we will do so when you have huge number of records in the database and whenever generally assume i am hitting this api call i am hitting this api call assume my database is having 2000 records okay 2000 records so it's very difficult to to display 2000 records at a time in your front end page front end page level right so generally that's the purpose in couple of applications we will see 50 records at a time or 100 records at a time so that means when you are sending a request to the server application here itself you can send the starting count should be equal to 1 and okay if you want to define range of records maybe you want per page at a time 50 records or 100 records okay something like that you can send okay you are saying like starting from 1 and size is equal to how many records you want at a time is 50 records so this what is the meaning of this endpoint here it is yes so the meaning of it is fetching fetching users information okay fetching users information starting from row 1 2 and the next 50 records next 50 records like that when you are sending the request for the first time or when you are clicking on some other pages or if you are setting so even you can send sometimes directly jumping to the other pages or whatever it is you are just directly jumping to the other things yes we can define those things also like this okay starting from the 1000 you want to get records starting from the 1000 and the next 100 records you want to get so that means it's all about what the fetching information fetching fetching okay something like 1000 to 
1100 uh, range records 1000 to 1100 range records we are getting from the fetching point of view here it is okay so this is how we can get the page of this is how we are going to fetch user information by using pagination point of view so now the summarizing with respect to summary point of view here path variables is all about to define the mandatory information or required information as part of the path level so generally if you want to get based on the email id or something like when you want to get based on the users based on their department name okay or department id so i'm just taking a couple of examples here that's all okay maybe based on the department name or id so it's a mandatory information that to one information you are passing but with respect to query parameters point of view it's better to take always optional information as well as and sometimes pagination information on based on with sorting information pagination information that number of records so this kind of extra information you can define as part of the query parameters level so that's what the summary here it is i'm always recommending putting the required parameters in the path variables level and as well as optional parameters should be at query string or query parameter level so that will be that is the best way of approach every application is going to follow in most of the api services implementation okay so if you want to get more and more details about path variables and query parameters please refer the description i posted the previous session recording links there you can refer there okay so thank you